So Sam McClure has addressed his comments saying with absolute certainty, West Coast were never going to pick Harley Reid last year because he didn't want to come play for them. A video has uploaded on the Clubby Sports YouTube channel. And uh, we're going to take a look at his first public comments as, well, as far as I'm aware, addressing his comments. If you don't recall, he basically said that there was no chance West Coast were going to pick him at one. North had a good chance to select him at two because if West Coast held the pick at pick one, they still weren't going to pick Harley Reid. It was just a very flawed argument that to be honest, I just found funny. And if you recall my comments, at the time here on True Footy, I was curious. I was curious as to the certainty with which Sam McClure was speaking about how West Coast were not going to pick him. And of course, I was open-minded at the time that West Coast might trade the pick. And uh, I was curious and I wasn't necessarily going to criticize his take until it was proven wrong. And then obviously it got proven wrong in a big way. And then I commented again post-draft and I just found the whole thing funny. So I'm going to react to his comments uh, addressing the video originally. And uh, again, I'm not coming in with, with any of this preconceived hatred of Sam McClure. I just think the whole thing is a little bit funny. Also, I just want to preempt a few comments about how this could probably be a True Eagle video. There's two reasons why it's gone on True Footy. First of all, the primary one, I covered this story on True Footy and the story itself was quite AFL relevant at the time. You know, so many teams had a vested interest in pick one. It was going to shape in a big way how the draft would transpire. So I wanted to just close that loop and address it to the original audience that I originally made these videos for. The second reason is I hit the monetization level for True Eagle only to then discover that it takes a month before they actually approve you. So forgive me guys, I'm putting this on True Footy for a couple of reasons there, but in the future, Eagles content will be going on True Eagle. So without further ado, uh, I'm just going to react to this video and let you know what I think of his response to what I think was a hilarious story. Harley Reid. I just don't think West Coast will pick him. They're not gonna pick him, Mitch. They're not gonna pick him. He doesn't want to go there. He doesn't want to go there. So everything I said before about North Melbourne having to give up, they don't have to give up much for pick one, you know, Rick. They don't need pick one. They're going to get him at two. Mitch, I'm telling you, they're not going to pick him. First of all, love the intro. Great sense of humor. I don't know who's put it there. Obviously, this is going on the Clubby Sports YouTube channel. Uh, so whether or not somebody else edited it or if Sam signed off on that, either way, I think it's funny. Harley Reid is playing in a West Coast Reed. jumper this season because the club wasn't savvy enough or creative enough to turn one pick into three, which they clearly should have done, placed a large amount of pressure on the shoulders of Harley Reid, who Adam Simpson has publicly declared won't play every game this year. Clearly, the coach is trying to lessen the burden on Harley. A lot of coaches do that with first-year players. Yeah, but they could have also just lessened the burden by taking three instead of one. And I think West Coast are going to really struggle for the next three to five years. Okay, so this is funny. Now, one second, we'll just park the argument against West Coast taking Harley Reid, okay? That's not really what I want to focus on in this video because I think there is a logical argument to suggest we could have taken three. I'm comfortable that we just took Harley Reid. I'm not going to slaughter him for that opinion at the risk of just becoming, you know, an Eagles nuff. But I do have to say, like, what's clearly happening here is he's deflecting the criticism on him, who told us with absolute certainty West Coast weren't going to pick Harley Reid and is now making a deflection with the same vibe as saying, oh, it's not me that's wrong it's them who made the mistake so there is a little bit of bs at play here because don't forget sam mcclure is primarily a journalist not a football analyst he's a journalist therefore he's breaking stories that we somewhat rely on everyone's going to have a different opinion on whether you should believe journalists but he told us as though he had some inside information that what he was saying was true and him criticizing the decision after the fact doesn't make up for the fact that he got this really badly wrong and i think west coast are going to really struggle for the next three to five years Personally, they may be that there is likely to be a change of coach. West Coast have, um, for a long time, have had their head in the sand as to where their list was at. Mm -hmm. They reacted too late, and I think they were too bloody minded not to take Harley and to be creative with it. So again, it's giving this impression of, you know, it's West Coast's fault, not his fault for getting the story wrong. West Coast were just too bloody minded. But again, like he did heavily imply he had some info, inside information that West Coast was definitely not going to pick him even if he was there at one. And that's really what we're talking about here. Second of all, um, like again, I didn't really want to defend West Coast too heavily in this video, but to suggest that Adam Simpson is not likely to be the coach is a bit of a leap, okay? Now, it's logical on the basis that West Coast are going to struggle. But don't forget as well, like now that we're in the hardcore rebuild, expectations have shifted massively. They have. And therefore, I think it's a, it is a bit of a leap to suggest that Simo won't be there. But you could have the, uh, you know, the belief that Simo probably will get sacked, but it's not a super compelling argument as to why we shouldn't have taken Harley Reid. So I'm questioning the relevance here. I don't like where West Coast are at. I really like Harley Reid. And I know this, this whole sort of thing that we've had fun with is, has taken on its own, its own orbit. I'm 
met him last year. We talked about him. He's a great guy. Again, it's just deflection, you know, saying things like, oh, this story took its own orbit. Well, yeah, you came out with absolute certainty saying that the team with pick one was going to let Harley Reid slip. You didn't actually say they're going to trade the pick. You said they're going to let him slip. You said that Harley Reid doesn't want to go there so much that West Coast, if they failed to make a trade, would still not pick him at pick one. I don't think for a second you ever disliked Harley Reid. This is all just deflection. But the question everyone wants to know is, how do you reflect on the comments of the fact that he, they wouldn't take him? So props to Mitch Cleary here for actually trying to get him back on track to actually addressing the comments that he made rather than simply just criticize West Coast list management position. Again, it's a logical argument. I personally comfortable with the decision we made. I think it's kind of neither here nor there. Well, I got it wrong. Yeah. Because they took him. Yeah. So I'll just put up, put up my hand and wear that one on the chin. That's that's fine. That's the game. This is what you and I do. I didn't think that they take him. I still cannot believe that they took him. I mean, fair enough. He's copping the whack when finally forced to actually address the thing that he was meant to address. He says that he got it wrong. And I'm not here trying to really rake him over the coals, but he is trying to be very dismissive of it, saying these things happen. But at the same time, you told us with certainty and you didn't make it seem like your opinion. You made it seem like you'd heard something. They're going to get him at two. Mitch, I'm telling you, they're not going to pick him. I think there is a degree of responsibility as a journalist to clarify when you are just speaking your opinion and when you're making it very much sound as though this is going to happen because of some information that you have. I will guarantee you of one thing. If they finish bottom two for the next three years, where, where do you think the story is going to be? You get one chance at a career. One, not two. Mm. He's not going to list. Their list is in a strange position given... Their list isn't in a strange position. Their list is awful. I can't argue with that. I mean, I can't debate Sam McClure here from a position of strength about where the West Coast list is at. Obviously, as a fan, I'm optimistic and I believe in the best case scenario, but I think it's logical to suggest that, obviously, West Coast probably have three years to prove to Harley Reid that this is a good place to say, I'm not going to dance around that issue. I have faith that we will. And, you know, if, if West Coast are as bad as they were the last two years, then obviously I wouldn't even blame Harley Reid for thinking, shit, where else could I be playing? I also simultaneously believe that we will not get to that point. And they, they, had, this, they had the chance the year before to go and get Sheasel or Wardlaw. And they didn't. And they split them. There's a little bit of a reaction there from McClure as though he was going to criticise us for not going for Sheasel. Isn't that the exact inverse of what he's criticizing us for not doing? So in 2022, the Eagles had picked two, which could have been Harry Sheasel. They traded it down for Jinby and Hewitt. Maybe I am reading a little bit too much into that, but I felt like he was about to jump in. His possession style of footy hasn't ba has been out of work in the last couple of years. He hasn't had any players. You can only coach with, with what you have. Yeah, the fitness has broken They've down. They've all been injured. There you go. In that way, he kind of defends Adam Simpson uh, whilst also suggesting that he's probably not going to be on the list, which is a bit of a contradiction. Anyway, I'm probably tearing him apart a little bit too much. Tim Kelly does, pings a hamstring in session one back of the summer. Like, you know, it's just getting bad, bad to yeah. worse. Weird comment. That did happen, but Tim Kelly has been completely fit since then and uh, played in both preseason games. So again, I just don't know where that's going. Collingwood saw the end of the tunnel. West Coast just ran straight into it. Yep. Yes and no. I actually do think that's a little bit of a myth. I think West Coast kind of had their hands tied through, you know, trading for Tim Kelly. The first year that West Coast then had a first rounder was 2021. And I'm not going to say this is unlucky, but there is something a little bit unfortunate about us having a good start to that year and then ending the season in 2021 as a really bad football team because we finished ninth and our first round pick was like middle teens. Since then, I think we've done a fairly good job of trying to catch up. I don't think there's too much ignorance there. I don't know what you could realistically do when you have no first rounders and a list that's starting to decline. You could try and trade your third and fourth rounders for some role players other clubs to try and fill the age gap we did that and to be fair none of them really came on other than maybe Witherden then we also like traded down multiple times like we traded first round picks for extra second round picks we traded our first in 2021 down two picks to get an extra second rounder then we traded our first rounder in 2022 for two first rounders so 2023 is the one year that we didn't do it anyway this wasn't meant to be a defensive west coast to be honest it is kind of just a deflection from the original point anyway i just find that kind of amusing. I think he kind of defended it as well as you realistically could. The fact of the matter is he just made a 
really bad call for shooting from the hip. And in summary, like, you know, parking his West Coast opinions and criticism aside for a moment, I don't really care about that. Where I think he went wrong is telling us a story with absolute certainty, as though it was fact, as though he had some sort of inside information, was proven, you know, clearly wrong. And uh, to be honest, didn't really do a great job of explaining how he got that wrong, other than to suggest that it was actually opinion all along. So there you go, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know how bad West Coast are and everything. I think that is going to be coming in this comment section. But that's not really the point. Eagles fans, if you're looking for Eagles exclusive content, you can find that on True Eagle pretty much from now on. But for now, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.